Hey guys, welcome back to our weekly devlog. We spent a lot of time this week attempting to get the game over to Unreal Engine version 4.25. Unfortunately, this new version has some nasty netcode bugs in addition to packaging crashes, so it's going to have to wait for now. However, I did happen to start implementing the replication graph into the game. Already there are massive improvements with large-scale netplay. For instance, beforehand equipment had some serious trouble loading in on the client. But now, with dependent actors and spatialized replication, equipment will always appear when it is loaded in by the client. I completed work on the Phoenix Temple and am continuing work on new units and room structures. I hope that when we finally introduce the world to you guys that you will be just as excited as we are. We also took some time to enable ray tracing on the game as well. Although we wanted to use the improved ray tracing provided with Unreal Engine version 4.25, for now the 4.23 version will have to do. We're also implementing post-processing effects like bloom, lens flares, and other changes that are going to bring our visual fidelity up a notch. We also have an extremely important announcement that we want to run by you guys, since launch is rapidly approaching. Because of several unexpected developments, we're going to be launching the game with the commoners being the only playable faction. We really wanted to have all three factions playable at launch, but there is no way that the quality will be up to our standards if we do so. However, we are really excited for the trading among players and the massive alliances that are going to form with this new format. This will give each player a level playing field in the beginning until we can update the game with the Rebel and Empire factions. As soon as the factions are up to par, we will post the update on Steam. Now as for next week, the goal is still to get multiplayer running as smoothly as possible. Until the systems we have in the game are all running as closely as possible to the server on the client, we won't feel comfortable launching the game. I will finish up the work on Rune's assets, touch up some commoner structures, and complete work on the Honor Guard initiate. Thank you guys as always for your support, and we will see you again next week. Thank you.